one of the premier events benefiting the Boys and Girls Club of Winter Haven, Haines City and Lake Wales includes grilling, chilling and just a plain good time. The tasty competition and its event details are coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Brian Lacey, and joining us in studio is Kevin Ward, President of the Board of Directors for the Boys and Girls Club and the Smoke on the Water 2016 event chair. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you very much. And of course, a man who doesn't need any introduction, but in case you do, uh, Grant Pache. He's a board member of the Boys and Girls Club and of course the Smoke on the Water 2016 Entertainment Chair. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to, uh, welcome to Polk Place. We Good to be here, brother. Yeah, appreciate it. Very Another much. year. I'm, yeah. I, I, I think back. Years. I'm, I'm, yeah. Twelve I, years. I, I think I've been covering it for, for like six or seven. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we talked, I, I told you last year was the first year that uh, we managed to get you on camera. You now we have you. Me. <laughs> uh -huh. Now we have you in the studio. Mm -hmm. Kevin, talk to me a little bit. You've been a part of this. Uh, for so long. Yeah, this I've been there for eight years, and uh, it's, you know it's a blast to do it. It's it's a lot of work. Uh, we depend on our sponsors to you know uh, come through for us. You know because the money uh, is to help the boys and girls club. You know we uh, we keep kids off the streets and we uh, make it a safe place for kids to go after school. You know parents are working and they can't take care of them and. And, and the most important part about Smoke on the Water is, is the fact that it, uh, it's a fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club, the Citrus Center Boys and Girls Club, and, and sometimes we forget to, to mention that because Smoke on the Water is just, it's a great, it's a fun event, you know, with all the barbecue and the food and the, and the great entertainment that we have. And, uh, and then uh, on top of the fundraiser, you know, there's a lot of people that get together every year to put this thing on. We're a lot, there's a lot of behind the scenes guys that, you know, just don't get a lot of recognition and, uh, you know, Grant's been there since before me as far as I know when uh, you were doing the wine bar, I think, for the sponsor parties and stuff and, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's a month away, four weeks, it's coming up quick, so. Something that I, that I want to talk about and you guys have had the privilege to, to work side by side is, is the leadership of the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, you had a gentleman there that was there over 30 years and then the, the man that was right underneath him is, is leading the institution yeah, now. Yeah, Curtis Reddick. Talk mm -hmm. about the boys that, that, that oh, boys, <laughs> as they like to be referred to, the head kids. Yeah. <laughs> but talk about the leadership of the place. Well, Walt Hall retired last year. Uh, he's, you know, been there forever. And, uh, you know, mover and shaker around town, everybody knows Walt. And uh, so last year he retired and Curtis has taken his place. Uh, outstanding, um, I'm really blessed to be able to work with him and uh, look forward to, uh, you know, the many years to come to help him out with the, with the club. And, and he's do doing a fabulous job, super, super job. And talk about the, uh, the the difference that they make in the lives of uh, of the kids that that need a place to go after they go you know after they're done with school. Uh, these kids could be at, at at risk kids, and yeah. and and having that place, whether it be there in Winter Haven, Lake Wales, Haines City, right. they have that place. And you, every year, you guys make sure the doors are open. Yeah, there's 600 and some kids that that come every day, and that's a lot. You know, and we bus them from the school to the club, and then the parents come and pick them up from the club. And uh, there's a lot to it. There's there's more to running a boys and girls club than people people know. So it's a challenge. Yeah, I, and 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 the work that they put in, and it, it's just such a great facility for all three communities to have. And and lucky enough to have board members like you guys that that care and and, and take on the extra work, but the situation at hand, talking about a lot of work, uh, we're just a little bit of time out. Mm -hmm. Smoke on the water, for those that have never been there before, um, you know, Polk County hosts some incredible barbecue events, but uh, you guys have got to be one of the signature events, I, I would say in the Southeast. Yeah, we, we are, uh, 
a qualifier for a lot of bigger barbecue competitions that are uh, nationally known. And uh, not only is it uh, a big event locally, but it's a big event for the barbecue contestants uh, on a national level. There's some guys that come from all over the country. It's a pretty big deal. And there are some big <clears throat> names. If, if you watch the barbecue shows, you've got Tuffy, you've got, uh, what, what's the boy's name from, uh, uh, from Georgia? Uh, Myron, Myron, Myron Mixon. Myron Mixon. Yeah, yeah, Myron Mixon. Yeah. A lot of the big names, are, this is where they're, they're out there uh, on the road at this event. Yep, yep. And they're there every year and they do a great job for us. And, and that helps promote, you know, our organization and, and the fundraiser too. Just have big names like that to, to throw around. I think the setting's real critical too yeah. because it sits on the water. It's a beautiful setting. More than not, we usually have pretty good weather, so we can take advantage of the water. People come up in their boats. Um, it's just, it, it, we could get bigger. We, we've always asked to move this event, but it takes away the uniqueness of the event and uh, being on the water there and everybody interaction. And uh, we've got subtle changes coming this year uh, to really uh, thank our sponsors. Uh, before we'd always put the sponsors in with the bands in the green room in the back. Yeah. This year we're going to have a separate VIP area out in the field so uh, the, the sponsors can really feel important because they are important. We can't do this event without them. And then we'll have food in there and we'll have a libation in there. Uh, uh, compliments of uh, <coughs> Snowy and Bro from Paddy Wagon and Linksters and mm -hmm. Their new place in downtown Winter Haven called um, Central, Cent Tavern. Central yeah, Tavern. Great yeah. place. Obviously, you guys know this from from your years of uh, of dealing with the event. But without sponsors, without volunteers, and, and last year I, I was lucky enough to be introduced, and and we featured some of the volunteers on the video that we did for you, and. Uh, and it's the same people year around giving of themselves to the community and to the children. Talk about the difference that those people make. And if you could inspire, you know, maybe new sponsors, new volunteers to come out and help you. Well, it w obviously the volunteers are really important to us. And uh, Marcy Smith, who uh, heads that up, heads up the volunteer side of things. Uh, she really got an outreach to those sponsors, anybody that wants to come out and help. You have a giving heart. A lot of people don't know what to do. They want to give, but they don't know what to do. Maybe perhaps it's part of their New Year's resolution, but mm -hmm. you can get in contact with the Boys and Girls Club. We'd love to have you out there and have you out to working for the day and helping those Boys and Girls Club. The sponsors are real critical. We're really upgrading the, the sponsor package this year. Uh, I think anybody that wants to promote their business and, and attach their brand to the Boys and Girls Club brand, this is the year to do it and feel good about it. One thing that, uh, you know, we've talked a little bit about the competition, uh, haven't talked a little uh, about the food, but world-class entertainment, two things. Uh, you always find the best bands. Uh, how, how do you do that? Well, it's going to be a challenge this year because um, uh, in the past, uh, Frank Schmoe's always handled the entertainment side of it. And Frank's uh, concentrating on his business this year, and he's done incredible job throughout the years for us. Um, so I'm tasked with that and um, I learned long ago uh, always find the right people to do the job for you if you're not capable and obviously I don't have the outreach Frank had for us the entertainment so we're going through uh, Jesse's Lounge mm -hmm. and um, Jesse and uh, Robbie are going to uh, help us book the, the events they're going to they're going to obviously be sponsors of that particular stage but they have live entertainment coming in on a regular basis uh, to Jesse's Lounge in Winter Haven and they have their eye on the certain types but the genre the types of music is going to be the same and it's going it to be just, some some I, great stuff I'm telling you one year I went from like a, a funk band the then the outdoor the just the uh, it, a guy on a mini stage that had a stand up bass uh, and kind of a rockabilly sound. Mm -hmm. Then you had, you know, you guys were back there with the jug band. I was just like, I was amazed at, at the at the world class musicians that you guys had there, and and it was, it's always an incredible event. Yeah, it's a big part of what we do in our in our brand as Smoke on the Water is the entertainment, and uh, 
we've, we'll have a couple of bands that have played in the past, but we're, we've gone out and tried to expand that a exactly. little bit. Because uh, after 11 years, we've had some yep. bands that have continued on. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to try to expand that a little bit this year. And I, I think nobody will be disappointed. As, as you said, the venue itself lends to uh, being on the water. And with Polk County being the water ski capital of the world, one of the things that, that I absolutely enjoy the most um, is that you bring that flavor of the Cypress Garden skiers and they do their show. And it's any time that, you know, they do the performances in Winter Haven, but any time that you can get them out in a crowd like that, it's always an incredible show. Yeah, well, that's a great uh, part of it. Mark Voisard, you know, he comes out every year. He'll do the, the kite at night, which is unbelievable that he even does that. And then during the day, you've got all, all the old water skiers from the, from the gardens. I shouldn't say the old water skiers, it's all the water skiers from the gardens. <laughs> and uh, last year, uh, we had the announcer from Cypress Gardens, uh, and it was amazing because it just kind of throws you right back into you know, 1980 and, and back in the day when they were booming out there and that's great and you know another thing about the venue um, is you know on Friday night we have a sponsors party and this is you know for the sponsors again to show them a great time and there's nothing like uh, all the colored lights and being on the water and the reflection and everything it just it makes it really special you know a great place to have a party for for those people who you know fork out the dollars that really makes this thing happen and one thing that I have to commend you guys on <coughs> where the venue is versus the parking that's available, you know, there's off-site parking and it's nothing to see buses rolling every few seconds just in and out, just picking up, dropping off, picking up, dropping off. And to make that work, the logistics of it, what's it take to, to move the thousands? In the world, but it's a, for a local charity event, it's, a, it's quite an event. I mean, I. I encourage everybody to come out. It's a blast. And Grant, I'm going to give you the last word. Uh, you know, if you can inspire those at, at home to give of them, give, give of their time, of themselves, uh, uh, recruit sponsors for the event. Uh, you have the last word. How do you go about doing that? Well, you know, uh, I've got a charity, Restaurants Against Hunger, and our motto is, if you're not serving somebody, serve somebody who is. And this is a great opportunity to do that. You can come out and help these kids. Uh, in their environment, but by just by contributing either your time or your dollars to the event, come out to the dollars to the event. Same thing with corporations. Anybody who wants to be a sponsor out there, we'd love for you to be part of our team and help us brand this event so that and really and showcase who you are and what you do and bring your people out there so they can have a good time as well. Well, Kevin, Grant, I, I really want to thank you. A, for, uh, for, for doing what you do for the children and, and for the community, and B, and for putting on a, a great event. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Yeah, thanks for having us very much. All right, and you at home, want to make sure you check out the 12th Annual Smoke on the Water Barbecue Competition. Happens February 5th and 6th at the Citrus Boys and Girls Club, located at 2400 Havendale Boulevard in Winter Haven. Smoke on the Water is an FBA-sanctioned annual competition and hosts over 80 teams from across the country competing for over $11,000 in cash and raising funds for the Citrus Center Boys and Girls Club of Winter Haven, Haines City, and Lake Wales. Admission is a dollar donation, 12 and under is free, premier parking is available for $5, and the park and ride is free. For more information, check them out on the web at www.citruscenterboysandgirlsclub.org.